Hello, high performers. I am Mozwai Surame, and yes, you heard right. The Brain Matters podcast is directed at high performers. In this episode, I'm going to take a moment to introduce myself, talk a little bit about the podcast, who I believe you to be, and what you can expect from the show. Let me start by sharing what led me to create Brain Matters podcast. I started this podcast because over the years, I have had my fair share of ups and downs, having to deal with failure, fear, and wanting to better understand what it takes to turn things around, navigate transitions better, even the rocky ones, with ease and confidence. You know, I brought a lot to the table and yet the struggle felt so real. You, like me, can surely relate to the always present drive to be calm and do your best and wanting to develop and have a mindset that is open, flexible, and as agile as possible so you can resourcefully deal with change and at the same time develop and use your potential to achieve more and operate with ease, live with a sense of purpose and true satisfaction on your own terms. See, in my work of teaching, training, and coaching, I had a lot of exposure to people from different fields, different levels of responsibility, and varying expectations. And I could recognize a lot of the inner struggles I faced. The struggles I went through, they made me want to know what it was that made a person thrive. What was needed to experience well-being? What was needed to be successful in and not only outwardly. I was curious to find out what it was that high performers did that was different and that made them tackle life and business resiliently. I wanted answers to questions and the whole pondering that I was doing. How do you deal with your emotions so you don't give up or sabotage yourself? How do you grow? How do you be more on your own terms? How do you cope with challenging people, difficult times and the overflow of information and demands that we face today? How does one step up into self-leadership and mastery? How do you motivate, influence and lead others? In a world where one is not alone, how do you relate? How do you connect, collaborate and communicate effectively? How do you consistently exercise your power of choice? That takes courage. And how do you make one-off behaviors become consistent habits? How do you take responsibility for the impact that you have and the ripple effect that you send out into your immediate space and the world beyond that? What does it take to face failure? Learn and grow from it despite all. What is it that we humans have that serves as the basis of what makes us thrive long term? You see, my curiosity led me to insightful teachers, mentors, and high performers from whom I learned so much. I went through a period of deep work. It wasn't always easy. It did sometimes feel painful, but it was worth it all. I discovered aspects of who I was and how I operated that were simply imprinted from the past and from past, um, you know, upbringings and experiences that I had made that I never questioned and that I could actually choose to let go of if I wanted and knew how to. I discovered that high performers had all done deep work and they had developed a winning formula that is flexible and addressed inner and outer skills that ranged and consisted of awareness of their true potential, mindset, behavior, their technical know-how in in their fields, but also understanding the tribe consisted of the tribe one grows in, impacts and sends a ripple effect into. I studied a lot and invested a lot of money and time putting efforts to understand What makes humans great? The discovery I made was that we as humans have a great asset at our disposal, the human brain, and it serves us 
even better when we understand how our brains work. I realize that there is much more in our control than is obvious. And everything starts with the brain. It starts with brain awareness and all that follows. What do you do with the information? How do you start putting that into practice? How do you start making that part of your life, your lifestyle and how you simply are? In my training, I delved and got certified in neuroscience coaching and leadership development, neuro agility, emotional agility, resilience, emotional intelligence, and brain-based personal development strategies and all. We can learn how to be more, attain high performance, deal with personal and professional transitions resiliently and with attention and intention. This is how Brain Matters was born and what led me to create this podcast. As to how the podcast will be run, the format and what to expect, I will be releasing two different types of episodes. One would be the interview podcast where I will be talking to an expert, experienced coach, teacher, a business owner, um, uh, you know, an entrepreneur, senior leader on a particular topic. The podcast will describe the topic, will move on to the challenges people face in regards of the topic and vital insights on it to raise awareness. And then there will be actionable and brain friendly tips that you can implement for yourself. And this will then be followed by a closing message for the listener. The other kind of podcast I'll release will be one where you will hear me talking alone, sharing neuroscience insights for business, leadership, development, personal and professional development, actionable tips to develop your neuroagility, your emotional intelligence, and use brain awareness to go through life, work, business with ease. How do I imagine you? You are a high performer, someone that brings a lot to the table already. You're driven. You believe in always learning, growing, adapting, course correcting, and simply being able to navigate the demands of life and work with ease. You, however, also know that life is demanding and that you need more to cope, navigate the daily demands. You are overcharged and you know you need strategies to do more than just get by. You want to do more than just operate in the survival mode. You want more ways to get by with ease and confidence. And I have found, like many who know the relevance of operating with the brain in mind, that you can do so much more. You can be more. You can navigate demands better. You can grow despite the odds. And there are many. Things never have to be more of a struggle than necessary at any given time and place. And the insights from Brain Matters that I'll be sharing will give you direction, will help you answer your questions, explore them with an accurate point of departure. If you are ready to be more of who you already are and unleash more of your potential for the life that you want, subscribe to the podcast by going to my website, www.omozwa.com or hit the subscribe button on Spotify and YouTube. I look forward to your feedback. I'll appreciate everything that you can uh, pass on to me to make this um, podcast valuable to you. So feel free to send me an email. The email address is takeaction at omozwa.com. Omozwa is spelled O-M-O-Z-U-A. Or rate the show on YouTube and Spotify. For now, I leave you with this. Remember, transformation is a choice and it is up to you to be the CEO of your brain. Bye-bye and see you soon. 